The two subjects that most get Mary Pat's creative juices flowing as a photographer are hummingbirds and monarch butterflies. And unfortunately, the monarch butterflies haven't arrived yet, but the hummingbirds are definitely here. Well, Mary Pat was getting some great hummingbird pictures, and she wanted me to get some video footage of hummingbirds so we could put something together for the channel. And boy, I could not buy a hummingbird shot to save my life. In fact, I would set up for hummingbirds and I would get these guys. <laughs> I was getting these juvenile wrens who were wondering, what the heck was this sugar water doing here and what happened to the bird seed that usually was on this rail? Uh, plenty of these guys, no hummingbirds for quite a while. But while I was in a dry spell, Mary Pat was getting some great pictures at a variety of feeders in the backyard. So finally I gave up trying to use the bird photo booth to get my video and uh, I staked out a popular feeder with one of my big video cameras and uh, just cranked it up to a telephoto lens and started started to take these shots. So this was actually over the course of a couple of hours I managed to get a couple of good shots and I broke the drought and that made me feel a lot better. And this lady certainly is enjoying the nectar. After that I set up uh, one of my motion activated cameras close to that feeder that was a hot spot and I managed to get a little bit more footage. We don't seem to have as many hummingbirds at this point this year uh, as we usually have. Usually we have quite a few and it's been kind of sparse this year and I don't know if our unusual uh, weather this spring has had anything to do with it. We'll just have to wait and see how it goes for the rest of the season. Well, I really wanted to get some hummingbird footage using the bird photo booth. And eventually, my patience was rewarded. So, I'll show you what that looks like, because some of it is, is really pretty good. So I mounted a, uh, a hummingbird feeder right onto the arm of the bird photo booth. And at first, of course, they didn't want to come over. I just had his friends coming. But eventually, by taking down all the other feeders, we trained them to come to this one. And I really wanted to get some shots here. And the bird photo booth gives you two shooting positions. The, uh, the window on the bottom is just a clear lens. So you can shoot through that with your camera, and you get the normal view for your camera. Uh, but the lens on top is a macro lens. It, it actually magnifies the, uh, the image going into the bird photo booth camera and allows you to shoot closer. So those images are really the best, I think, with a little bird like these hummingbirds. So let's take a look at what we got from the bird photo booth. So this was the first hummingbird I got with a bird photo booth, and it's using the bottom position, which would be the normal lens. Uh, which gives you a very wide-angle shot uh, with the camera that comes with the bird photo booth. Well, these shots are using the macro position. And as you can see, it gives you a much better look at the bird. It gets them much closer to you. And, and I think is a more interesting way to shoot when you're shooting a small bird, like a hummingbird, which obviously is <laughs> hardly about the size of a, uh, of a big bumblebee, almost. Over the years, Mary Pat has been able to get some good shots of hummingbirds out in nature, actually drinking from flowers. And personally, I just think that is much more interesting than always shooting them over the feeders. I had been seeing all female hummingbirds until we finally managed to entice this male ruby-throated hummingbird uh, over to the bird photo booth feeder. 
So, good to know the future generation uh, has a chance. Hummingbirds are a big favorite for watching around here because they're just such amazing acrobats. The way they can hover in the air and uh, to watch their wings beating back and forth so quickly they almost disappear. It's just fascinating. And I think that's one of the big draws. And I'm not the only one who's fascinated by hummingbirds. Our German short-haired pointer, Cody, will actually sit up and look at the TV and watch hummingbirds on them on it all day. I mean, she is absolutely fascinated by them. So, on that note, I think I'll say goodbye and uh, watch for the next video.